Hey guys, <clears throat> so we're going to cover quite a few things today. Um, first of all, if you go to charts, I have updated all of the uh, Bitcoin charts. I got BitMEX, Coinbase, Bitstamp, Binance, Bybit, and Kraken, um, different versions of each. Uh, some people have been asking about a specific chart, the one that has the uh, the red and yellow ring we're coming up to. Uh, that was my capitulation chart. That That is called the BTC capitulation cycle chart where my cursor is at right now. I um, also created a new uh, Bitcoin dominance chart. I'm going to show you that. And also I added new charts um, <clears throat> for altcoins. I made a new uh, BCH chart, Ethereum chart, Litecoin chart, and XRP chart. It's the one that has the date 1228. I went on a chart -a also charted some stocks. I'm going to cover those as well. And I'm going to have all of these charts right here. This is my um, this is my TradingView account. These are private charts. I'm going to have the link to all of these in the uh, description uh, for the next couple days. I got all the parts from my computer, so I'm going to be rebuilding that today. But these will be available. Um, this is the Kraken chart. I just published this, so it, it, there's no price action to update. But you can see with this chart, it's been respecting this white, respecting this white fib circle. You see, we get caught in this channel, and we jump up to this channel, to this channel. You see that this. Um, let me zoom in here. You can see that this ring right here. We went up, and as soon as we crossed this ring, we started coming down. So if we continue down, uh, your next target uh, on this is Kraken chart will be seven thousand. Uh, 7,180. Well, if we drop below that, then your target will be 7,099. Um, of course, if we come back up, your target will be around 7,305. Again, all of these will be in the description and pinned in the first comment. <clears throat> this is a, a BTC dominance chart. And you can see it's been respecting this, um, this uh, orange, orange uh, ring in this fib circle. It's been bouncing off of it, came down below, found resistance, came back up, and now we're finding resistance on this yellow ring. So that will be available. Uh, BCH um, published this, I think. Uh, this is published on the, 20, uh, on the 28th. But you can see it's been respecting this line right here. We came up, found rejection on this white line. We went above, found rejection on this um, green line, came back down. So if we come down further, your target is... $202, you go below that, your next target is 199 and if we drop further, your ultimate target will be 186 uh, I'm just going through these, showing you what's going to be um, available for you to watch for the next couple days, and then I'll be removing them. Um, this chart here is Litecoin. Um, you can see what's been going on. It's been working within the channel, these blue rings. When it popped above this blue ring, it got stopped at this one came back down below your support was this blue ring it came up above this blue ring so it looks like it's going to be coming back down so it looks like Litecoin is going to be coming down to $41.16 um, your ultimate bottom where there's a lot of support is $39.77 and it looks like it's prospecting this this circle this uh, white flip circle here so if it drops down your ultimate bottom maybe around $34.63 Let's see, this is Ethereum, um, and this chart worked out really well. You can see that price has been respecting this blue fib circle here. You see it was finding support on it, dropped down to the next one, then it dropped down to the one below that, came back up, found support on it, dropped down to this one. As soon as it dropped past this blue ring, came all the way down, got stuck on this channel, came down to this next blue ring down, went back up, it moved back up, found resistance on this blue ring. Let me zoom in a bit. So you can see it's respecting these, these uh, blue fib circles. It's caught in this channel right now, going up and down, up and down. You see right now it got rejected. Well, let me hit play here. So you can see what happened. It made it above this blue ring. Where did it get topped out? Right at this blue ring. Now we're coming back down. So it looks like our target, if we continue down, is going to be $127.33. And then if we push back up, your target would be roughly around $133.89. And if we push down, well, there is going to be support on this. There's a lot of support on this green line here. So your first target would be potentially 118.93. Guys, pay attention to these charts. Watch them play out. Again, these charts are published charts. That means they do not play out live. 
this is the XRP chart. So you'll have to keep hitting play. And then if, if you want to, you know, if 30 or 40 minutes have passed, you'll have to hit refresh. And then you'll have to hit, you know, the play button again. If you access, if you have access to my charts on my website, you use the same link I use so they play out live. Again, guys, these charts are shareable. So you can save them as your own. They play out on all devices, mobile, tablets, whatever. Um, and if you, like I said, if you have a TradingView account, you can click the copy icon top right. You can save them as your own. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to uh, watch how these play out. But you can see uh, this is XRP. We've been respecting this yellow FIB circle here. It went way above, but you can see it was working within this channel. Dropped below, came back up. It was finding support on this yellow FIB circle. Then dropped below. It was working on this channel, working on this channel. But pretty much just bouncing between these channels. It came up here, found um, rejection, found support. Came up here, found support, found resistance, dropped down to the next one. So if um, XRP continues dropping down, there's a lot of support here. So your target will be, looks like 19 cents. And then your next target will be 18 cents. And if you drop below that, it looks like your next strong support is going to be this red line here, which is around 18 cents, well, 18445. <clears throat> Again, these will be um, available, guys, for you to uh, check out. Let me go back to here. And also, I have, let's see. So I've been uh, doing Forex and stocks. Um, I did the Dow Jones. Guys, if you're interested in having me chart stocks for you, um, contact me via email. This is the Dow Jones. Um, I think I pretty much nailed down um, the date when the Dow Jones is going to be topped out. And I do expect it to crash. Um, well, I'm not going to give much information on this because a client paid me to create this. But I just want to show you these charts. Um, so, you know, the charts I create for um, altcoins and for Bitcoin, I use the same method. And I can chart, you know, I just, I just, um, well, actually, I published this on the 28th, but the stock market just, just recently opened. So you'll have actually be able to see price action move along. But I did the Dow Jones. Again, guys, this is interesting because I do think I know when this is going to come back down. Um, if you're interested in having me uh, do stocks for you guys, just email me. Um, I also did Facebook. You can see it's respecting um, this uh, yellow FIB circle here. So if it comes down, this is your next target, this yellow FIB circle here. If we push above, which it looks like we might, and we find support, your next target is going to be this yellow FIB circle. And your ultimate target will be this white um, uh, ring right here in this fib circle. These will not be available, guys. Um, but if you want to email me, um, I can. <laughs> we can go over some of these stocks. Uh, this here is Apple. You can see we've been moving up this white ring. Your ultimate, if we drop, your target is down here at this um, yellow ring and this um, orange ring. And if we continue up, we're, we're getting resistance on this yellow ring and support on this, this uh, orange ring. If we move up, your next target is this yellow ring above and potentially this orange ring above here. Um, let's see, that's Apple. So yeah, Apple, Facebook, Dow. I also did a Clifford, Clifford's Cliff. And I'm working on Amazon. Mark, if you're watching this, your Amazon um, chart will be up as soon as my computer is done. But I did have another chart. Oh, it was Google. I didn't put Google in here. Here, let me load up the Google chart. Actually, uh, well, anyways, I'll show that another time. But I also did Google as well, and I'm working on Amazon. But let me cover some of these. So you, this is the actual live chart. Guys, if you're curious why I have my... my um, web address. Some other um, YouTubers out there have been streaming my um, charts. And as a matter of fact, on the dark web, people have been selling my charts. So if that tells you anything, <laughs> I am kind of flattered. They wouldn't be doing that if these charts weren't working. So that's why I'm putting this here. So if you do see these charts on someone else's um, stream, or if, you have, if someone happens to purchase them somewhere else, people will know where they came from. But let me show you. So all of the... Um, these are the, the live versions of the uh, altcoin charts. But let me get to this. So <clears throat> the capitulation chart. So this is the one I said is called, let me go back to charts, guys. This is, if we go to Bitcoin, 
that the chart that I just showed you, this is a BTC capitulation cycle chart right here. So again, guys, this was my capitulation ring. And you can see how price has been respecting. Let me turn on these inner rings here. So you can see how well price has been respecting this bit circle. We drop down, we get caught in this channel, caught in this channel. Let me turn on one more ring here. And we got caught in this channel, pushed up, went sideways, hit this ring, came up, came back down for support, pushed back up. So it seems like what it does is, is now it's riding down these rings. It hits the ring and it rides down it. You see we had a push up, and we capitulated at the, yellow, at the yellow ring. So we are right on this next ring. And you can see we're already starting to push down. Guys, I would pay attention. I do not know what's going to happen. All I say is when we approach a ring where a previous ring played a role, always pay attention because something major could happen. It's possible nothing happens, but it's better to pay attention. We are right at this ring now, guys. So we could continue to push down this ring. And then once we hit this yellow ring, um, you know, it's possible it could be support. And we could push up it till we cross and have a drop. Hey, we could hit this. We could hit this ring and start riding up it. Anything can happen, but I do think something will happen just because these rings played a role. We're at this ring now, moving down. So if we continue pushing down, I would pay attention because your next target is going to be down here at six thousand one hundred and sixty-eight ish. Basically, when you hit this line, this had an angle. So depending on when you hit it, but pretty much when it hits a line, you get a little chop, you get a little volatility. But your next target is down here. And your target below is down here. This would be around 5,142. Uh, before, again, if a current price action, before we hit this ring, this is on the daily, you're looking at about 11 days to hit this ring. But keep in mind, if, if price starts moving down this ring, we just start coming down like this, you know, then all of a sudden, we're only three days from this ring. So pay attention, guys. Um, do do load this chart up because I do expect you know we could continue to push down this ring. I do expect something major to happen when we hit this ring. We'll just have to see what's going to happen when we hit it. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, fractal chart. Now I don't know that this is the case. I did have a video where I covered this, but it looks to me like this this fractal is playing out all over again. I think a lot of people think this is where we're at right now this area and they think we're we're starting our bull run from this point but, but guys I think this this is a descending triangle just like this is a descending triangle so I think we have a lot lower to go and that's what this red represents so from current price action on this chart and again guys this I haven't put this chart up on the website I will I'll call this um, the fractal capitulation fractal chart so you can guys you guys can access it so Till we make contact with this ring at current price action is roughly 97 days. But just like that previous chart I showed you guys, if we drop down, you know, and do something like this and come over like this, you know, that puts us only 32 days away. So remember, the, the lower we go, the closer we get to this ring. So if we moved sideways, yeah, it would take 90 days to hit this ring. But I would pay attention, guys. Because you can see how well price is respecting this. I mean, when I created this ring here, and again, it just goes from the peak down to where we pushed up. And, and look how well it, price respects this. You got perfect resistance, perfect support. You got support, resistance, perfect support on this ring, came down, you rode down this ring. As soon as we hit this ring, we capitulated, came back up, resistance. And then we pushed up, and then you can see right here. Once we hit this ring, it pushed us down, then we crossed over. So when we hit this ring, now normally when you hit the top of a ring, it pushes you down. So it's possible we'd hit this ring as support, push up, and then when we cross, we'd come down. But again, guys, we'll, we'll pay attention to this. This is a little ways out. The most important is this chart here because we are already at this ring going down. So we could push down a lot lower. So do pay attention to that. Um, again, I will put this chart up. Um, so you guys can access it on the website. Uh, Bitcoin Dominance uh, charted this out, guys. This would, I'll have available in the description uh, if you want to watch this play out, the published version. But you can see it's been bouncing off of this. Um, we were finding support on this, well, this, this orange ring and this green line here. It came down, and then we found resistance 
we found resistance on this ring. When we broke above it, that's when it pushed up, and then we got rejected on this yellow ring. So guys, I really am cracking the code here. I mean, these charts are playing out. They're, they're on point. Um, all of the Bitcoin charts have been updated. Um, you can see we wrote up this white ring. As soon as we crossed it, it came down and found support on this yellow ring. Guys, I tell you always, I refer to every single chart I made. Um, if you're looking at all the charts, you'll have a better idea where price action is going because you can compare different charts. You might find a ring in one chart where we might have a pivot or you ride up, or you might see a potential pattern we're in that you might not see in one chart that you'll see in another chart. But if we drop down your next target, this is the um, BitMEX chart. If we drop down from here, your target is 7,200. Um, if we can make it back above this ring right here, we got multiple um, support, um, I'm sorry, resistance levels. The highest we went so far, you can see this was a lot of resistance right here. So if we do push up, look at 7,500 to be your resistance. This here is Coinbase chart. There is a lot of, of support on this um, ring right here. So if we push down, look at your potential target of 7,191. That kind of goes to the last chart, which is 7,200. If we have a major drop, you can see this uh, ring right here was a lot of support. That would take you down to 6,942. This chart here is, this is a Coinbase chart. <laughs> if we continue down your first support, you can see this ring right here. We've been riding up this. We did we did drop below. You can see we've been respecting this uh, white fib circle. We rode up it, dropped down, rode up it, dropped down, rode up it. We found resistance. Then we came down, found support on this orange ring. We dropped down, found perfect support on this this uh, white ring. We dropped below, and then we found support right down here on this um, this uh, channel. And then we pushed straight up, got rejected at this um, white ring, which previously was resistance. And then we've been finding support on this orange ring. So yeah, if we come down, your target is around 7,174. Pay attention to this ring because this is a potential pivot to push us up or down. Um, we are, this is on the one hour, we are about three days and 19 hours before hitting this ring. <clears throat> so do pay attention to that. This is the um, Binance. This is one of the Binance charts. You can re see we've been respecting this blue fib circle. We've been finding support and resistance. We pushed up. We found rejection. We came up. We got topped out right here. This is a lot of support and resistance. Again, guys, all, always look left and see which one of these lines was a lot of uh, previous resistance, and that'll give you an idea of a target to sell. But you see, we came back down. We got caught in this channel. We've been bouncing back up and forth in this blue. Uh, channel in this blue fib circle we got pushed up got rejected right here you can see this was a lot of support and resistance well actually a lot of resistance um, so as soon as we cross this yellow ring we started coming down and look where we found support right on this um, blue fib circle so if we push back up we have a lot of resistance levels to get above but ultimately I think your target if we push up the highest we would go would be 7,587. It seems like all of the charts are telling me that if we push up 7,500 is going to be our target. If we drop down, um, looking at this chart, you can see this this yellow ring here. This, this was support at 6,700. And again, all of these lines at an angle will also be support. But if we push back up, you know, this will be a resistance level and this will be a resistance level, as well as these that are angled up. Um, this is Binance. You can see we've been stuck in this white uh, fifth circle here, bouncing back up and forth. This is where we dropped down. But again, guys, this was complete manipulation. You can see we came right back up to where we were. We got topped out here. And then we dropped back down right on this white ring. And we're currently finding support on this white ring. So if we push back up, your first uh, resistance is going to be 7,593. Your next target is going to be 7,720. If we drop down, your next support is going to be around 6,739 to 6,700-ish. Uh, this chart here is the uh, Binance. This is another Binance chart. If we drop down, your first support is going to be 7,212. If we push back up, you're going to get resistance at 7,622. Um, this here is another Binance chart. This is just the rings. 
And you can see that we've been bouncing back and forth between the channels, between these rings. Also, we've been respecting these orange rings. And once we crossed, it was a pivot, cross, pivot, cross, pivot, came back up, found resistance. You can see we had, this was a manipulation going up, we came back down. We uh, got rejected here. So if we push down, it looks like our target. Your first target is going to be 7,045. We push below, we push lower at 6,900. We come back up, you'll find resistance at 7,664. This here is a buy bit. Um, you can see it's, we've been respecting this white ring here. Um, we came down, we found support. We pushed up, we found support and resistance on this line right here. Um, as soon as we crossed, we came up, we found resistance here. We've been moving up this ring. You see, as soon as we crossed it, we started coming down. So your next support on the Bybit chart is 7,161, and then 6,949, and then I need to I need to pull these out. But you can see this line was our last support, the lowest point we went. So if I pull this out, you know, this potentially would be 6,300. But just going by the, the the lines are currently on this chart. I would look at um, 6,788 as very strong support if we do have a drop. If we push up, remember these rings will be resistance. So wherever we push up, you know, if we pushed up right now, you find resistance at 7,441. But if we continue out, remember this ring right here will be resistance as well, as well as all of these lines. But let's say we come out, you know, and then we push up, you're going to find resistance up here, 7,799. Again, guys, this, and you can see this line angled up. This is a lot of support and resistance. So it depends on where you're at when you hit these. So it is better to have the charts. I can give you a price um, or, you know, a potential target, but it depends on when you hit these rings or when you hit these lines or at an angle. So the price changes depending on where you hit them. Uh, this here is the um, this is another buy bit chart. You see, we've been stuck in this blue fib circle channel here. Got uh, rejected. We found support. We got uh, resistance. We pushed above it. Um, this this green line up here again. Always look left. A lot of resistance back here. We got rejected here. Came back down. Right back to this channel or the line in this channel. We pushed down. As soon as we crossed this yellow ring, we pushed up. Got rejected. This blue ring. Came back down, found support in this blue ring. So guys, these charts tell you potential targets. I mean, if you get rejected here, where's your next target? This blue ring. You push up, where's your next target? This blue ring. We keep moving down, where's your target? Right here at 7,092. And this ring is going to continue to push us down. So pay attention to that. This is the, uh, one of the buy bit charts. This here is... Um, this is a buy bit, just the rings. I added some new FIP circles to some of these charts, and I updated all of them. You can see that every time we hit this white ring, we drop down to the next ring, we ride up it, and this this um, this red ring is pushing us down. So we we drop down, find support. Also, we're finding support on this blue ring. So you see this blue ring here. We found resistance on it. We were finding support on this yellow ring. As soon as we got caught between this white ring, we were finding resistance, riding up this yellow ring. As soon as we broke through, we came down, we found resistance and support on this white ring, got rejected at this red ring, came down, found support, pushed up, hit this red ring, dropped down. So it seems like, and now we're underneath this blue ring, so we keep finding resistance um, by this red ring. So we'll probably drop down. Um, your next target, if we drop straight down, is 7,128, and then we'll potentially push back up, and get rejected at 7,200, and then it depends if we push up, you might find um, resistance. Well, you will find resistance at 7,359, but if we drop down up at this point, your next support level is going to be around 7,020. And there is previously support here, so your ultimate target will be 6,879. This is the uh, Kraken chart. This is one that will be available in the um, description as a published version for you guys to check out. You can see we have been respecting um, this white bib circle. You can see we're bouncing back and forth in this channel. Then we got stuck in this channel. Then we got stuck in this bottom channel. You can see when we pushed up, we got rejected perfectly um, right here. You can see this green line also was uh, resistance. Then we went right back into this channel that shows this complete manipulation. Pushed us up right back where we started. You can see once we pushed above this this um, white ring, where did we get topped out? Right at this white, white ring here. We pushed up. I need you to take note. 
as I mentioned previously in the published version, we went up, pushed up, right up at this um, orange ring. As soon as we crossed it, we came back down. But ultimately, your, tar your top was this ring above, and then we found support on this ring. Now we're finding resistance on this ring, so it just makes sense. Our next target will be down here around 7,180. You can see how these numbers are kind of matching previous charts. That's why I say always compare to the other charts. <clears throat> if we drop below that, your target will be 7,099. It'll be pushed back up. Your target would be 7,463. So it seems like we pushed up 7,500 is the upside. And if we come down, it seems like around 7,700 is going to be our down target. And again, guys, all of these charts I will have in the description for the next couple days um, while I build my computer. Wish me luck. I hope I don't fry anything and get everything up. I've got to back up all my stuff. <clears throat> so guys, again, um, these are all the Bitcoin charts. Um, you know, Bitcoin dominance that I showed you. The, use the, the dates. The one with the dates are the most recent, like Bitcoin dominance I created on the 28th. Again, the uh, capitulation cycle chart, that's this one. Um, and again, these are all the Bitcoin charts. And then if you go to altcoins, the most recent altcoin charts are the ones that say 1228. So Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. Later, I will be making more. Um, I will be updating these charts. These charts are actually still on point. These are just using. Um, if I can load this up. This is just using um, pitchforks, but you can see it's still respecting every single one of these pitchforks. Um, so you can still use these as targets, guys. All of these. Um, I went through all of these. They're still um, actually. I created these a long time ago, but it's still respecting these pitchforks. But I will be updating all of the altcoin charts using that new method. Um, this method here, like for XRP. They're a lot more accurate and charting this way I can create flip circles that you can actually use as targets. But guys, um, yeah, I will be updating, uh, I'll be creating more charts later. I just need to get my computer built. I'm excited about doing that. It got me a, an eight core, five gigahertz turbo unlocked processor. <laughs> I can't wait to get that thing uh, set up because um, you know, when I process uh, videos now, it takes like 40 minutes to an hour. I imagine with that, it'll probably take about 5 or 10 minutes, so I'm pretty excited. And probably I can do 60 frames a second instead of 30 frames a second. But guys, again, um, if you do want to take a, take advantage of... Well, I guess I lost that. Let's see. Yeah, it, well, if you go to subscribe, I do have... Um, so yeah, th this is a scribe option. Um, now I'm going to be up. I'm going to be changing the um, tutorial price. Probably going to take that up to 150, maybe 200. Uh, I will probably take this up to 200 dollars lifetime access for charts because I'm going to be adding a lot more charts. If you do want to take advantage of this, I will have this available. Um, I guess either until after my computer is fixed, or you know after I rebuild my computer, or before New Year's. But this will go up to 200. This will go up to potentially 150 to 200 um, lifetime access for everything. That will be removed. So if you want to take advantage of this, um, this gives you lifetime access for the charts and the video tutorials. But um, I'll keep it at $20 a month for access to charts. So guys, that's it for today. Do check out uh, these charts. They will be in the description so you can watch some play out. And you can see how well they play out. And then if you want to uh, access the live version of the charts, guys, just go under the website and just click on subscribe, and those options are here. If you want to pay with crypto, just uh, email me. My email will be in the description of this video as well as the link to the website. And I will make sure that I, uh, once you pay with crypto, I will make sure I send you the, uh, the links to sign up. But that's it, guys. Until the next video, and do pay attention again. Let me find, I got a lot of charts open here. Again, pay attention. We are moving down this ring, so we might go a lot lower. I mean, we're moving down right now. We could keep moving down this ring all the way down to, well, your first target's going to be 6,564. And again, guys, we go from line to line to line. We got topped out at this line, found support on this line. We came down, we got pushed up, perfect rejection on this line came down to this line we were chopped but you can see it was, it was resistance and support now it's resistance we're moving down so only it only makes sense that we're coming down to this line if we go down lower this line and then this line so pay attention guys something's gonna happen soon and if that 
uh, fractal chart plays out and something major could happen when we hit this ring. But guys, that's it. Until the next video, have a good one.